hello guys uh, welcome back to mobile UI test automation and this is uh, chapter 3 environment variable setup and configuration so before getting into that let's do a small recap again uh, so far we have downloaded few softwares and installed them in our local let's see what are they so here is the list uh, we have started with IDE the code editor we have chosen Visual Studio code and then we have installed node.js and uh, which also includes npm so node.js we have installed because we have chosen JavaScript as scripting language and also if you remember uh, we have already used npm while installing the other uh, softwares as well so the next thing we have downloaded is apm desktop client so there are several ways you can download apm you can also do it with your npm manager you get packet manager and the apm desktop client gives you the ui for that apm so you can directly set the port number and you can start the server from there so apm is a server client architecture and we are going to discuss that more deep in when we start the project and in support to that we have also installed apm doctor which is useful in detecting the exact errors when there is something went wrong from apm site or we have done anything wrong in configuration the next biggie we have downloaded is android studio along with the emulators and uh, os the rest are of uh, package manager installations we have done webdriver io mocha chai and chak if you remember webdriver io gives us the framework and uh, mocha chai are the test runners chak uh, it actually makes your reports more colorful so this is it um, the next we are going to start is uh, the environment variables setting and configuration so which also includes the web driver configuration i have uh, listed down below so let's start with the environment variables first so here is the list uh, you need to set the environment variables for so let's start with node.js if you can directly open it from the start yep here it is so uh, choose the system variables and path here so here is the node.js path which uh, i had in my local so you can have your own path and it's mostly the same path which i had if you haven't changed it manually so you can add this uh, path by clicking on new button and paste the path here say okay and here it is so the next thing you need to set environment variables for Android home and Java home so these two things are needed for our APM to interact with the mobile device and for setting Android home environment variable you need to open Android studio first and then open SDK manager yeah here it is the path you can copy it from here and get back to system variables add new say it android underscore home and paste the path here when you say ok it comes like this and the next is java home environment variable so if you don't have java in your local already please go and download i am adding the download link here you can download it from the Oracle official website and do install set the environment variable like this yeah so copy the path and uh, create new environment variable here and uh, say Java home and paste the path here and the remaining uh, environment variables are with the Android SDK these are nothing but the extension of our Android SDK path so get back to environment variables choose path here and here it is so I am adding the Android home as reference and uh, giving the platform tools folder as my path so I'll copy paste this in the notes section so that it will be easy for you guys so here it is I have added to notes so with this we have uh, done setting our environment variables
so the next topic is package.json so this is a file in your project folder where all the npm installations are listed down there and this is not an auto generated file we need to create it but it is quite useful in handling the npm installs so for example when we download it in and installed mocha or chai we have entered the commands in the terminal manually like this npm install mocha or or chai individually for each package but if you have package.json and put your required dependencies or packages in json format and if you do npm install without giving any subsequent package name when you click enter so it starts downloading all the packages listed in this and also your preferred version can be added here so that that version of your required package will be downloaded and installed so that is package.json and uh, there are also a few other uses of package.json which we'll discuss later so the next thing is uh, dev dependencies so when you do package.json installations so it will also install the background dependencies we call dev dependencies here we don't explicitly download the dev dependencies that will be generated automatically which we'll see in webdriver io configuration and the next is node modules so these are nothing but uh, the actual libraries so when you download and install the dependencies all the folders are generated like this so if you have observed when i did the installation of webdriver io or mocha or chai so files will be generated like this and uh, are stored in node modules and also the package log.json this will have the version information exactly and uh, and this is a detailed information of each and every library we have downloaded along with the versions it is listed and if you want more details on package.json or package log.json you can go read it in the internet for now let's move on to the next topic that is webdriver io configuration so webdriver io configuration is the key part where all our test will be depending on the configuration we set in this so let's start so you can enter the command npx space wdio space config and when you do enter it will throw you some questions you need to answer so where is your automation backend located in my local press enter and which framework do you want to use i am using mocha for now so i just selected that and you can just select sync and uh, where are your text specs located you can change this location later for now i am pressing enter so do you want webdrive io to auto generate some test files no so are you using a compiler no for now and which reporter do you want to use so it is already selected with the uh, spec i am going to use the same do you want to add a service to your test setup yes uh, we need selenium standalone and we uncheck chrome driver do enter and what is the base url it is already uh, given as localhost i'll keep the same so it will start uh, installing the configuration this will actually take some time and uh, once it is done you can see the dev dependencies are generated automatically so these are the backend uh, services as we'll use and the configuration file is generated automatically so this is the key file we need for all the tests so every test will take the configuration from here and it will run so you can add your uh, device capabilities here and also you can configure your test uh, specs group 
and also you can give pass some parameters like uh, maximum instances and also you can write the give the log level so there are so many features it offered us uh, we can have the default wait for time and also connection retry we are going to touch all the fields in the upcoming days so you don't need to worry if you don't have any idea on these now for now you can uh, assume that our test setup is done so few things which need to be taken care of we can do that while we are doing our project so that's all guys for today so we'll start with our next topic that is uh, test creation and the folder structure so meanwhile uh, you guys can read the description what is webdriver ivo i'll give you guys the official website link in the description so here it is you will have all the information regarding webdriver ivo so it is always best to read everything and do practice and that's all for today so if you like my video please do share and subscribe to my channel and thank you all for listening have a great day. Bye-bye.